Good morning, everyone. This is Heather Lee from Channel 2. I am here along Route 5 in Lackawanna, where we are following some breaking news this morning. There is a massive fire at the Bethlehem Steel site again. This is in Lackawanna in Route 5. You can see right now the road has since been closed. It remained open up until a couple of minutes ago. A number of emergency crews here on the scene. So far, we've seen several Lackawanna Fire Department trucks, also several trucks from the city of Buffalo, and also a couple of medics SUVs going in. We do not know exactly where on the grounds this fire is. We do not know if there was anyone in that particular part of the building, but the pictures and the video, I think, speak for themselves right now. This massive cloud of smoke can be seen along Route 5 as you're coming in. We are a little bit closer to the scene. This is uh, the neighborhood right near Bethlehem Steel, the Bethlehem Steel site. And when you're coming over Route 5. It almost looks like it's a, a little bit closer to the lake. That's because this massive cloud of smoke, it is just huge. Once we got a little bit closer, we re realized that this was more on the uh, the south side of Route 5, so a little bit farther away from the lake. But again, I don't know if you just heard that there. We're a, a safe distance away right now, but occasionally you will see flames shooting through the roof of this building over here. We don't know if the fire is uh, particularly in that building or beyond it. Uh, we do not know exactly where this fire started, but again, we're following some breaking news here this morning. An occasional explosion can be heard. And again, the road closed at this point while fire crews are on the scene. Unclear whether or not there are any injuries at this point. We do not know again exactly where this fire started on this property. I'm going to swing around over here. You can kind of see off in the distance just a little bit. They're trying to fight this fire from above. You can see one of the aerial crews, that stream of water over here, but that thick black smoke indicating that there's some more flames just shooting up right there. Very much an active scene here. We don't know the materials that may have been on the grounds. We don't know exactly what's burning, but again, we are hearing uh, uh, several explosions here. Linda's asking, is it safe for residents near the area? We have not heard otherwise at this point. Um, the good news, at least for right now, from what I'm seeing is this neighborhood that's right here. If you travel Route 5, you know all these houses over here. The smoke is actually blowing away from them. It seems to be heading more towards the Hamburg area. And uh, the, the smoke itself, it's going a little more south, it appears, but then a lot of it is just staying in this one massive cloud. We have not heard up, uh, at this point whether or not there are any evacuations. We do not know if there are any injuries at this point. Uh, most of the crews just blew right past us because obviously their main concern right now is making sure that everybody is safe who may have been on that property or near that property and also putting out these flames right now. If you look down the street, it just looks like absolute darkness. It looks like it's the middle of the night over here. And that's farther down Route 5 as you're heading toward uh, Mile Strip. Let me zoom out a little bit here so you can see. We've got more fire trucks coming right now. Lots of traffic this time of the morning uh, along Route 5, really in both directions. A lot of traffic normally heading inbound um, at this time, but traffic is blocked off. And we've got emergency crews that are trying to get down here. There is this uh, auto delivery truck that was trying to make that sharp turn, trying to get out of the way to allow the fire trucks to get through over here. This appears to be more buffalo fire trucks. Just a huge response here this morning. More ambulance crews. This is the second or third ambulance crew that I have seen. Again, at this point, we don't know exactly where this fire started. Let's get uh, back to the video over here. We know that this is uh, on the former Bethlehem Steel site, but again, we do not know exactly where in the building. We do not know if there were any people in the area where this fire started, and we don't know if there are any injuries 
at this point. Much too early to say what caused this. We're hoping to get some information from fire officials, obviously, right now. Their main concern, making sure that everybody is okay and obviously trying to put out these flames. You can see the flames, again, continuing to shoot from that building over there. The road blocked off. We are also live streaming throughout the morning here at WGRZ.com in addition to this Facebook feed. In a couple of minutes, I'll be doing a live report actually on Channel 2. So once this feed ends, you can tune into Channel 2 for more details. Also follow us at WGRZ.com. The smoke looks like it's moving this way um, a little bit. The big question right now, uh, how did this start? Where did it start? And exactly what is burning? Those are questions that we do not know the answer to right now. And fortunately for us, the smoke is staying mostly in that direction. They're starting to block off some more roads. This is Adams Street, right off of Route 5. You can see a Lackawanna police officer blocking it off. Even more emergency crews responding to this scene here. here on the scene. Darlene says smoke rolling right into Woodlawn. Yeah, we are upwind, fortunately, uh, from this fire right now. The wind is at my back, so all of that smoke, it, it, for the most part, is staying in a pretty big cloud. I wouldn't call it a mushroom cloud, but it's staying pretty condensed, but then some of it drifting down Route 5. As I said, Marty saying it's going toward Woodlawn right now. The neighborhood right now we see a couple of people they are out just catching a glimpse of this right now this is obviously a breaking news situation a very fluid situation we've got crews multiple crews following this story we also have crews back at the station trying to get more information in terms of uh, whether or not there are evacuation zones, what people need to be aware of. Obviously, Route 5 closed off right now. If you're getting ready to head out the door anytime soon and you normally take Route 5, then 90, probably a better bet at this point to avoid all of this mess. See the flames rising up above this building here. Uh, John, to answer your question, this is in New York, Lackawanna, New York, Route 5. We're uh, not too far away from the lake. Like I said, when we were coming across earlier across the Skyway, it appeared as though it was on this side. So we didn't know if it was oil cars or tankers, but it's actually the south side of Route 5. Just a massive site over here. Again, we do not know exactly what's burning. There was another explosion right there. I can't say for certain uh, the type of building that is burning. Obviously, it looks like this fire has spread to at least a good portion of that site. One of the things, um, a couple of people had mentioned that Lockport fire and uh, the Lockport fire a couple of months ago. And they were saying uh, it reminded them of that. To a certain extent, um, it, that could very much be the same uh, for one reason. When we talked to firefighters in Lockport, they said these particular types of buildings, 
the steel buildings, uh, the more industrial type buildings, a lot of times can be really difficult. They can be really difficult to put out um, because once things start to collapse and burn, the fire is then underneath that. So not only do they have to you know, put water or potentially foam and other things, chemicals on this to get the fire out, they have to make sure that if there is indeed a collapse when those walls come down, that there is not fire still burning underneath. And check this out right here. This building just went up the top of it. Those vents that are on the top just lit up. It almost looks kind of like a a candelabra in, in a eerie sort of way. Flames uh, weren't always visible up until this point. And you can see just the entire top of this building burning. This is a very large site over here, so it's hard to say exactly again where this fire began and exactly what is burning at this point. I'm going to zoom out so you can see again just that huge cloud of smoke. burn through the roof on this side, this corner. Steelworks Industrial Park is on the, uh, the side of the building there, but I'm not entirely sure uh, how current that is. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Darlene. It does look like nighttime in parts of Lackawanna and then as you're heading into Lakeview. Hamburg, that area. I mean, it is just thick black smoke. These are some of the fire crews. Do we know where Pete actually is? Uh, don't know. Whoops. Sorry about that, guys. Just trying to flip around here. Thank you very much. Joanne says be safe. Um, we're, we're at a at a safe distance um, at this point, what appears to be. We're beyond the fire crews. Obviously, if they tell us to get back, we will. The smoke, fortunately, is blowing in the direction opposite of the of us right now. If you're just joining us right now. We are at the site of a huge fire in Lackawanna, the old Bethlehem steel site. Uh, hard to say exactly where this fire started. Hard to say exactly what is burning. We do not know if anyone was hurt. We don't know if anyone was in that section of the building where the fire started. Uh, we've seen it progress just over the last couple of minutes. heard another explosion off in the distance. The whole roof, those vents up there along the top, almost looks kind of like a candelabra. Much earlier there was no flames coming from those and it spread all the way across there. Stacy says the yellow house is her sister's.
are they letting it free burn for now? Um, just a couple of moments ago, Bernie, we did see one of the uh, aerial crews that was off in this section, kind of behind that cloud of smoke. They appear to have been putting water on the top. I think right now it's hard to say what's actually burning in there. Again, we're hearing explosions off in the distance. This is a massive fire, so I don't know their technique at this point. Lots of crews. It looks like a lot of uh, ambulance crews on standby, Buffalo Police helping out. We are in Lackawanna on Route 5, Lackawanna, New York. Not too far from the Buffalo border, so that's obviously a big help when it comes to mutual aid. I would imagine on the other side of all of this, there's probably even more crews. Right now we are upwind of all of that smoke. You are looking to be west on Route 5. The skyway is behind me. And all of that smoke is just blowing towards Hamburg right now. Very good advice from Kathy there, mentioning Lockport and how there were evacuations. We have not heard of any at this point. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to grab things. Can you, do you mind holding this? Facebook, I just gotta grab my, my earpiece, Facebook one. Hi, it's Nate Benson, covering for Heather. That drone's gonna that drone's gonna melt. Oh my Here. Yeah. yeah, there's a little drone flying up there. And it looks like it's getting sucked up in there. Yeah, whoever's drone that is, it's gone. It just went in. No, it hasn't gone in yet. Hasn't? To those of you who are just tuning in right now, this is Heather Lee and Nate Benson. We are along Route 5 in Lackawanna, New York, where there is just a massive fire burning at the former Bethlehem Steel site. Right now, we do not know where this fire started. We do not know if there are any injuries at this point. And just some incredible pictures coming out of here just a couple of minutes ago. Let me zoom in so you can kind of see these vents at the top, at the top of this building. It looks like it's a like a metal roof. And those vents at the top, there was flames nowhere near there. And just within the past couple of minutes, that whole roof went up in flames. We're now seeing flames shooting out of the side of the building. Route 5 blocked off. Ooh, a big chunk just fell. It's now shooting out of the side of the building there. And just a, a huge cloud of smoke and huge flames here. That's the big question, Jennifer. How are they going to get this massive fire out? A number of fire crews here. Do you have a IFB? Um, okay. Again, here is just that massive, massive cloud of smoke. It's either some sort of explosion or things collapsing. We're hearing. Okay, he's just setting up the IFB and stuff for me now, so. Okay, thank you. Bye.
Thank you. Is there somewhere I can stick this for now, just to keep this going? Let's see if I can prop this up, guys, here. I'll put it in my mouth. Just hold on. Again, what appear to be some more explosions. We're just getting ready to uh, do a live report on Channel 2. So stick with us here on Facebook, also WGRZ.com, and again, Channel 2. I gotta give them a mic check. They asked me for it? Yeah. Bear with us, guys. We're moving around a little bit. Just getting ready for a, a live report right now. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Check, 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 check. Hello? Okay, okay, I'm trying. Bye. My mic is not working and I can't hear I AFB. Can somebody try to talk to me? Set a shot. Check, 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 check. You're on. I'm ready to go if you guys want me to do something. They don't have the mic. The mic's on. It's Everything's on. Crackling. I understand. We're hot.
Well, good morning, Scott. Just moments ago, the roof collapsed on this building. Since we've been here, we've seen smokestack by smokestack up on the top catch fire. And like I said, now the building is gone and it's completely engulfed in flames. Now, I want to make sure our people know to stay away from this area. Route 5 is closed.
Hi everyone, Heather Lee here again. We are uh, broadcasting live. We are on Route 5 in Lackawanna, the scene of this massive fire. What time is it now? 8.36. 8.36, so we've been here less than an hour, right? More police officers responding to the scene here. You can see just a row of ambulances uh, sort of on standby right now. Buffalo fire crews, there's a hazmat team as several and several Buffalo Fire Department vehicles. Uh, within the past couple of minutes, we saw this roof collapse here. You can see sort of the jagged edge, all of that metal and steel. That was a, a slanted, what, what appeared to be a, a metal roof. There were a number of vents all along the top, and when we first got here, you could see the roof in plain view, those vents. There was no fire near them, and then all of a sudden we saw the corner collapse, and this is sort of what we're left with at this point. You can see just a couple of those vents. Those used to be across the entire section of this building. Firefighters putting water on these flames right now. We do not know exactly where this fire started on this site. We do not know uh, which building, if it was in fact in a building where the fire started before spreading to this much larger building here. Route 5, right now in Lackawanna, New York, closed in both directions in front of this site. You're hearing either what appear to be explosions or perhaps things that are collapsing. Again, we are in Lackawanna, New York, near Buffalo, New York. For those of you who might be watching from outside of the area, just thick black smoke. If you look off in the distance, this would be heading towards uh, Mile Strip or Woodlawn Beach in that direction, um, you know, about a mile probably a mile, less than two miles away. It just looks like nighttime. That's all of that thick black smoke there. Just that huge cloud of smoke right now. You can see a lot of people from the neighborhood coming out, catching a glimpse of all of this. We have not heard, at least from our vantage point, we have not heard of any evacuations but again we are on just one side of this fire where the smoke is not blowing on the opposite side might be a, a little bit of a different story we are following this story from many angles our Pete Gallivan out here as well we've got another photographer and their crew also back at the station so stay with us here on Facebook WGRZ.com we'll be, be, be posting updates throughout the day today and of course live updates on channel two. Watch out, guys got guys move. gather rope. Guys, you got cars coming, move to the side. Another emergency crew here. So far from our vantage point, we have seen Lackawanna police and fire department, along with Buffalo Fire Department responding here. For those of you just joining us or for people outside of the area, this is Lackawanna, New York. We are right off of Route 5 here in Lackawanna, right near Buffalo, New York. This massive fire has been burning for about an hour now. You can see some of the aerial crews. Let me zoom in here. 
off in the distance trying to put some water on these flames right in sort of the center of the screen you can see one of the aerial trucks You guys still streaming? Uh, yes, Facebook live streaming. Yeah, I'm good. I just... We have not gotten any word of evacuations, uh, at least from where we are. We are on the east side of this scene. The smoke, as you can see, for the most part, staying away from these neighbors here. A lot of these folks out just sort of catching a glimpse of this massive, the massive flames and obviously this massive cloud of smoke. Uh, you gotta wonder what's burning in there. This is the old Bethlehem steel site on Route 5 in Lackawanna, New York, right near Buffalo, New York. We've been at the scene following this for about an hour now, where it is still burning. We saw a roof collapse right here, probably within the past 15 or 20 minutes. Haven't seen uh, many flames at this point, but throughout the morning, we saw those flames just creeping across that roof and then eventually the roof caved in. There's a little portion of the roof right there just above the trees in the center of your screen. And that's where they're concentrating uh, water right now. I'm gonna bring in Nate Benson for a second. He and I covered that huge fire in Lockport. Nate, I don't know if you remember, um, they were talking about the difficulty, and obviously we can't compare uh, these fires without knowing a ton about mm -hmm. what's happening here, but do you remember when the firefighters in Lockport were saying the, the difficulty of fi fighting it because of the, the metal building? Yeah, yeah the, the sheer size of these buildings, the fact that they're, I mean, this was a steel plant. It was designed to contain heat, uh, designed to just withstand so much force. I actually, my first job out of high school, for six months was at the steel mill my dad worked at. So I know just the sheer power that a, a building like this is supposed to contain. And obviously when that roof came down, it was, you know, hopefully nobody's hurt, but it was one of the most incredible things I've ever seen because just the, the sheer power of the fire brought that down. We're still hearing explosions in the background. Um, but the difficulty with a fire like this is just, you don't necessarily know what's inside, so you don't necessarily know what you're dealing with uh, to fight the fire. Obviously, you're trying to prevent it from spreading. Uh, there is a residential area near this plant. Right um, here. Yep. Uh, but again, you're just trying to do the best job you can to contain it. Uh, and obviously, this is well over a million square feet, I would imagine, if not more. Um, 
So it's very difficult to, to uh, prevent that from spreading. Yeah, and, and one of the things that you know we sort of took away from Lockport, again, right now we are in Lackawanna um, following this massive fire at the Bethlehem Steel Plant, but one of the things uh, when we were covering that other fire in Lockport, the firefighters were saying the difficulty was the fact that, again, these are metal buildings. They're designed yeah. to keep heat in, as Nate said, and also when they collapse, even once the flames, they think that they're out. Yeah. They're hot for days. Yeah, and they need to make sure that that fire underneath is still contained yeah. um, and put out eventually. We're just seeing that heavy, thick black smoke rolling up over here. Yeah, you can see in the, uh, in the tower over here, uh, they're trying to get some water on it. Yeah, let me zoom in over here. And I would say about 20 minutes ago, those little vents that you see, I don't know what the technical yeah. term is, but they look like vents mm -hmm. along the roof there. Those lined the entire roof. But as I pan over, you notice there is no more roof. That collapsed. Yeah, they all kind of lit up like uh, like candlesticks on it, a mantle. Yeah. Um, very quickly, you know, the first one, the far the far end over here lit up and then kind of spread down. Just spread um, all the way down. There's no windows in a building like this, so you know, obviously the entire inside was just a furnace of, of fire and building up, building up until finally it found a crack, melted melted through the roof, and then that roof came down very yeah. quickly. And again, we are along Route Five in Lackawanna, New York near Buffalo, New York, for those of you who are watching outside of the area. Keith, to answer your question, we do not know exactly what's burning. Uh, we don't know how this fire started, where it started. We do know that that building that you see there in the foreground, uh, the roof collapsed there, and that building at one point uh, caught fire, but we don't know if that's where the fire actually originated Come here. On. If you look off in the distance, that's looking toward Mile Strip, toward Woodlawn Beach. It looks like the dark of night over there. That yeah. is just that thick cloud of black smoke. Let me step out of the road over here. We've got more fire crews, more ambulance crews on the way. A number of crews uh, that appear to be just on standby. We've got Buffalo Fire Hazmat a number of ambulance crews on standby. This is the neighborhood right here closest to it. Fortunately, right now, the, the wind is in our favor, keeping the, the smoke away from us. Kitchen 33 from Buffalo Fire. And another specialized team from Buffalo Fire just arriving here at the scene. Another ambulance also on the way. Trevor, to answer your question, what kind of building? This was obviously an industrial building. Um, not entirely sure uh, what it was constructed of. Um, the roof appeared to be metal, and at least a portion of the sides appeared to be metal. Okay, what time is it now? 8.49. Okay. You should probably get set up. Do you mind putting this? Uh, guys, we're going to take a quick, uh, we're going to keep rolling here, but you're, we're going to take a quick break from narrating while we get ready to do our, our live hit here. Bear with us. We're going to join you back here in a, in a couple of minutes once we learn some more details. There's uh, Commissioner uh, we're, we're on Garnell Whitfield from Buffalo Fire. He just arrived on the scene here. Okay, yeah, we'll get out. Yep, we'll get out to you.
So they didn't get here in time. They shut down the skyway. They shut down the skyway. No, they must be in the house. Like the only thing I've seen so far is. People do. Do you know when they closed the skyway? They closed the sky, I would say, an hour ago. Hour, hour and 20, okay. 15 minutes ago. Or can I just tag out? 15 minutes ago? Hour and 15 oh, minutes hour ago. Hour and 15 minutes ago. Thank you. It took them a while to close it. Stand by. Gotcha. Good morning, Katie. Now, as you can see here, firefighters still battling this fire. Stand a lot of them on ladder trucks spraying water down here, just trying to keep everything under control. But what we do know at this time is this fire was called in around 8 a.m. at the two alarm fire quickly. The roof at this point has collapsed and some of the sides of the building have come down here, but we do know at this time Buffalo Fire and Hamburg are assisting Lackawanna. Hazmat crews are also on scene here as well as multiple ambulance units on 
Hey there, John and Melissa. Good morning. Let me step out of the way so you can see just still these incredible video that we can show you at this time. If you zoom in on the building, our photographer Nate Benson over there, the roof at one point about a half an hour, a half an hour ago was still intact. There are these small vents, or actually these vents along the top. You can see by the stream of the water. Those at one point lined the entire roof of this building. And then about, again, 30 minutes ago, we saw flames just engulf each one of those before the entire roof collapsed. Occasionally, we'll hear what appear to be either explosions or parts of this building that are keeping in. At this point, we do not know exactly where this fire started on the property of the building that's on that steel side. We don't know where it originated, if it was in one of these buildings or outside of before it spread here. We also do not know if this building is not going to be Thank you. 